All right, friends. Happy Monday to you. This is the 4th of November, 2019. I'm excited, all right? I'm Aaron Michael Eschenberg, and this is your Honest Astrology. Monday, coming in strong. It's back. We've got the sun showing up. 11 degrees of Scorpio, all right? Perfect trine to the north node. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful connection, all right? Also, creating that grand water trine is back. Creating that grand kite is back. Making that connection to Saturn. Why is this so exciting? I'm telling you, this is the best Mercury retrograde ever, all right? Please share the positivity. Nothing to freak out about. Nothing to hide our, uh, you know, bury our heads underneath our covers and pillows and, and shine out from the world. All right. Um, let me show you the. Let me show you the chart. We got the moon in 15 degrees of Aquarius. The middle degrees, right? Middle degrees of Aquarius, right here, which is forming a cool connection to Mars. This is really helping. Okay. So today is a really fun day, light, okay? What we need, the moon is what we need. What we need is to be sociable. What we need is to focus on the community. So we're focused on the community. Our relationships really have a beautiful turn today. And then further, as you see here, 20 degrees, 20 degrees, Mars is squaring Pluto. It's going to happen for the next two days, all right? Mars squaring Pluto, the moon creating a trine to Pluto. So it's saying we need more community. We need more people in our lives, okay? So we're changing our relationships. We are, this is a really beautiful way. Something's happening over here, how we govern ourselves that's opening up to us, creating new relationships, all right? Now the sun, 11 degrees, 11 degrees. All right, this is a beautiful connection to the North Node. This is the only time it's going to make this connection. But, you know, next year, you know, North Node's going to move over here into Gemini. Okay, so we need to really honor this. Okay, we need to honor our feelings right now. We need to honor our emotion. All right, Venus is up here learning new information, creating that, you know, that trine over here to Chiron. So all the new information that we're learning is adding to our growth and to heal. Okay, again, the need to be sociable leads to our relationships. Okay, transformation, changing of our relationships. Now, this grand kite, okay, that you see here, this water trine, okay, so it's the sun is showing up to the party. Before it was our thoughts, how we're thinking and how we're feeling, and now it's us. We are showing up to the party, we are ready to connect with our compassion, connect with our empathy, right? Uh, Tenzin Gyatso, the, the Dalai Lama, uh, it's his, his word, his one word says compassion. If the whole world learned one thing, it'd be compassion. If we, if we just had compassion for one another, we would change, everything would change dramatically, you know? So it's like self showing up here, making a connection to the south node, or to the north node, excuse me, all right, about compassion. My deep-rooted emotions, I should be empathetic toward myself and to others. We're all dealing with stuff. And like I talked about yesterday, we're dealing with things at different times. And where one thing might, you know, brush right off of our shoulder or just roll off like a, a you know, a bead of sweat running down your forehead, there can be other times where that same exact scenario, the exact same thing, and if we're in a, a, a different emotional state, a, a different emotional place, it can affect us greatly, like getting stabbed in the heart, you know, and it's just like these are the same scenario. The only the only variable factor is us and our emotional well-being. So it's taking the time right now to say, like, look, I honor my place. I honor myself in whatever I'm feeling, you know. We're so quick to apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for feeling this way. I'm sorry for doing this. I'm sorry for making noise. I'm sorry for creating space. I'm sorry for being human. I'm sorry for bad breath. I'm sorry that, you know, my skin isn't perfect. I'm sorry that my hair is a mess sometimes. I'm sorry that I'm not, you know, the daughter you had wanted, the son you had dreamed of. I'm not the parent you wished. I'm not the boss. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. You know, it's like, oh, getting emotional right now. And that's okay. You know, it's okay. Honor the emotion. Honor that. Honor that side of self. We're growing. We're learning. Right? It's okay. 
So the emotional side of self, son, is showing up here, saying I'm ready to expand. You know, I'm ready to follow this empathy. I'm ready to connect with other people, to reconnect, reconnect with other people, to show them my heart. And what a beautiful way to make connections, but by showing people who you truly are, your true authenticity, showing you my heart, right? It's a beautiful, beautiful way to make connections. And that's what this energy is about today. All right, we're learning. We're, we're meeting new people. And we're not afraid to go deep here. We're not afraid of our intimacy. The intimacy with ourselves and intimacy with others. And we're willing. We are willing to expand. We're willing to grow. All right. That's the mo that's, that's just the beautiful. It's just, it's just beautiful. We're willing. We're saying yes. We're showing up. We're saying yes. I honor myself. And we're allowing all of this to change. To, to, to form Saturn. We're going to form. We're going to, you know, create here. And now... If this is at 11 degrees and this is 11 degrees, what does that mean? The south node is up here at 11 degrees as well. So that means there's a perfect sextile to the sun and the south node, which the south node is about release. And the south node is still making a conjunction here, only four degrees apart to Saturn. Okay? So this is uh, reconfirming our release. You know, this stuff with Saturn here is so important stuck in our ways we've been stuck in this mode of thinking stuck and this is how you make money stuck and this is what love looks like stuck and <laughs> we're just stuck you know and now it's just like we get we get to free our footing up this connection right here we get to free our footing up we get to follow our emotion again the emotion this is these emotions again it's it's the water that makes way that that uh, you know erodes the rock away this rock here this is the rock you know and the emotion allows this rock to change, to be soft, to give it, you know, curvature and not be so pointy and rigid, okay? You know, it's like under the ocean. It's a, it's a little bit more smoother than, than the, the mountaintops. Why? Because the water, you know, came in and it, and it uh, smoothed out those rough edges, you know? So anyway, so this is our day. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful day of expansion, expansion expansion we're going to be feeling this water energy for a while but right now try to focus on our community and when we're loving ourselves and we're loving our friends around us and we're, we're you know greeting the world with compassion as you see even mercury here the sesqui square down here to the north node okay you know whatever we're thinking just just be in tune with our hearts nature be in tune with our nurturing side of life nurturing our own emotions, nurturing others, right? So it's a beautiful day. It's always a beautiful day. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, friends. Connecting with self. Falling in love with yourself. You got to live with yourself. I don't live with you every day, but you got to live with you every single day. I got to live with this guy every single day. You know, so it's like, where are my hard edges? Where's my earthy hard edges Allow this water to round it out. Not to be so pointy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Have a happy Monday starting the week off. Really good and strong in that social community aspect of Aquarius. So enjoy it. Enjoy the connection that Mars and Pluto, you know, change in the way of our uh, relationships with others. So this is a very, very exciting times. Very exciting times. Enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow.